Okay, now for the bottom pack. I try to keep all the zips going towards one direction, everything's to the right hand side because I'm right handed, it's easier to, <laughs> to reach and that way anything ever happens. Uh, you know, you get disorientated, whatever, you're not feeling well, you know where to open and close things. Anyway, here we go. Alright. Got some uh, scissors here. Really awesome scissors. About 10-15 years old. I had to make a, a sheath for them uh, out of hard plastic and duct tape. Got a bottle opener, can opener, fish scaler. They're stainless steel. They're very sharp. They come apart for very easy cleaning. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Got some uh, clothesline, yellow clothesline. This I'll probably use for setting up a tarp or something else like that. Um, cool. They came with these uh, lockdowns right here. Right there. Got that at Walmart. So you got this for a dollar at Walmart. I got me about a hundred and fifty feet of twine. Good for tying down small things and stuff like that. Nothing really too heavy. Because I wear glasses again. Uh, got some clear view. Uh, clean my lenses. Uh, backup pair of glasses. Let's see. This is galvanized steel. I use this for the water uh, distillation setup I'm going to have inside my uh, pack that I'm going to get around to showing in just a bit. I'll set that aside. Opening up this side pouch over here. I have a Smith's knife sharpener. You can also use it for sharpening uh, axes as well. You have your coarse side for getting things uh, nice and neat before you uh, polish them off with the fine side. You can use these on like my SOG axe to keep it nice and sharp. Also got some file blades as well, uh, just in case you lose that, something happens, you know. Uh, anyway, next part, solar powered flashlight. Uh, it also has some... Uh, Batteries. Batteries are so like last two centuries they need to get rid of them. Uh, well, they really can't, but uh, solar powered is great. Um, what this thing does is the first light right here is showing that you're running off of solar power. The second one over here, this green one, it's hard to tell, but it's green right now. There it is. Um, shows you that it's running off the battery. The one in the middle that is uh, is off, or if it's red, that means it's charging. Uh, just set it out in the sun. There you go. This floats, which is really cool. It has a lanyard, so always use your lanyards. That way you don't lose stuff. You know, you trip, you fall, you, stuff goes flying everywhere. You know, use your lanyards. Um, got some extra straps uh, from uh, Condor. Comes in a pack of four. I use some to strap down my uh, uh, power pack right there. I'll explain what a power pack is in just a little bit. Comes in a set of four. You know, have extras, spares, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Cool. Getting around to my bear grill saw. There you go. Love that. It doesn't come out all the way until you like pull it out. Used it a couple of times before on a camping situation. Uh, it's good for like two, three inch diameter uh, wood limbs. But I like it has a hole in these spots where you could tie it down to a larger piece of a limb and use it for pruning. Uh, there's Sometimes there's hard to reach limbs that you say, ah, that's a nice limb I'd like to have. Or There you go. Cut it down. Prune it. And you have yourself some firewood. Love this thing. It works very well. Um, I don't know what you know. What's happened to Gerber recently? I just don't really care for their knives anymore. That's good steel, though. 
but I don't know. They need to clean things up down there. Leatherman is like really the best I've seen so far. Anyway, I like this Bear Grylls. Um, I like Bear Grylls. I'm not too much of a fan though, but he does have a few good things over there. That uh, properties, the survival uh, little book is is awesome, and he has a really cool. I need. I'm gonna probably buy one in about a week or so. Paracord knife that you can use, of course, for uh, basic knife uh, utility things, and you can strap it down or using some paracord to a uh, nice limb and use that as a spear hunting. Another thing for hunting. Okay, and these top pouches, I have a $1 serrated knife. It has your uh, pocket clip over there. Put this lanyard on. And what I like about this is, uh, that didn't work too good the first time. There you go. Uh, Two-thirds of it are serrated. That's good for cutting paracord and other ropes. One-third is straight. Uh, Pretty neat to have. Push that down. It's a lock blade. Really neat. There you go. For a dollar, you can't beat it. You could probably take it apart if you if you needed to with those screws and use it as a spear or something like that. It was kind of difficult. I wish this uh, lanyard hole was a little bit bigger. It was even hard getting this small little rope through there without with a uh, had a little difficulty doing that. Over here, got. Uh, electrical tape I got a another knife sharpener for my smaller knives and stuff I, you got your uh, let's see right there your carbide and your ceramic and uh, it has this over here as well can I pull this open probably not uh, there we go um, for sharpening your serrated edges right there. That's excellent for sharpening your serrated edges. Okay. Got a small pocket uh, utility uh, shovel. Not for any serious digging, of course, but maybe uh, making small holes for, I don't know, whatever you might find a need, uh, need for making a small hole, hole for. Let's see. Over here. Got a nice big bold sharpie. And over here, um, got this at Ace of Art Art Store. It's a gridded, this is an 8x8 grid, quarto, uh, quarto, quarto pad. And since I'm a math person, I like to draw and like geometry as well, calculus, all that neat stuff. You can use this for uh, scaling things in the outdoors and writing notes, messages, whatever else you need. And that all uh, fits comfortably into this bottom pack of my uh, three-day assault pack.